<laughs> and then she asked, what are we? <laughs> Can you believe it? I have no fucking clue what she expected. She knew who I was before I took her back home. I didn't even have to introduce myself. Did she really think that we were anything more than a one night stand when we met up at the party? <laughs> I had a good laugh. I really did. And I told her, sweetheart, there is no we and there's not going to be a we. Save that question for someone who didn't take you home from a frat house. She swore that it was more than that. <laughs> she swore that we had a connection, whatever that means. The only thing I felt that night was a third shot of Hennessy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, well, well. I didn't know I had another audience member. Are you enjoying listening to my sexual escapades? If you want, I can pencil you in for a trip after my next class. I think you'd look great naked in the backseat of my Mustang, but being a STEM major requires me to test my hypothesis. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that a little too vulgar for you? Are you more of the, my name's Liam, but you can call me tonight type? Or the, I didn't know angels flew this low to the ground type? Looks like I caught your tongue. Maybe you'll be able to form coherent sentences next time we meet, hmm? I've got class. While I think it's cute that my presence and attention affects you this much, Wallflower, it still didn't add up to what my time was worth without coherent sentences. So I'll be taking this as a snack. This will get me through class for sure. Oh, and the answer to the problem you've been trying to look for is C. I couldn't help but notice you staring at me when you thought I wasn't looking. I thought it was only fair to give you the answer to the problem you've been stuck on since I was the reason you couldn't focus. I'll see you around, Wallflower. You're staring at me again. <laughs> For a wallflower, you aren't that subtle. Then again, if I didn't catch your eye the first time, I probably wouldn't have even seen you sitting over there. I told the boys I was taking lunch alone today. I thought I would give you a better view of me. I also thought it would help you form better sentences, and I was right. Look at you go, having a conversation with me of all people. I can practically see Cloud Nine forming under your seat. Can I guess that it's my looks that have you unable to look away? Is it the jaw or the hair? The eyes, maybe? My laugh and smile? <laughs> what rom-com did you steal that from, Wallflower? Regardless, cute. Is that the only thing you like about me? I... I was actually expecting more physical traits. Keeping me on my toes. I like that. You're fun. Well, I'll let you continue to stare. Let me know if you're on a different position. I'm always ready to please. Hey, Wallflower, give me your number. Because... One, I said so. Two, I'm tired of waiting for you to ask me for my number. Three, don't you think we're a bit too old to be passing notes? Ah. Back to modern day means of communication. Yes, 
I should be working on my assignment. And you should be too, but here we are. I think I'd rather do this than annotate. You aren't going to leave the pretty boy hanging, are you, Wallflower? What is the professor going to do? Give us detention? Come on, I'm bored. Entertain me. Would it be so bad if I were using you for entertainment? I know a lot of people who would be begging to be in your position. That didn't hurt your feelings, did it? It was a compliment. Hey, Wallflower. I really don't like being ignored, because I don't get ignored. I especially don't get ignored right in front of my face. Yes, I meant what I said. I'm using you for entertainment. Meaning, out of the thousands of people I could be using, I'm using you. You aren't the same boring types of people I go through like tissue. You're different. You need to learn how to take a compliment. I wasn't lying when I said a lot of people would be begging to be in your position. They'd be begging for a lot more once they were in your position. And instead of being like them, you're just standing here, trembling. You look like you're going to fall apart, honestly. Are you overwhelmed with emotions? You probably didn't think I was going to give you this much attention, did you? Not only am I bothering to look at you, I'm talking to you and pressing my body against yours. Your heart is probably ready to burst with how much you're loving this, loving me. You're probably screaming in your head for me to make a move and finally kiss you. Kiss you until your head is spinning more than it already is, so you won't be able to think straight for hours. Am I right? <laughs> oh, now you want to play hard to get, Wallflower. I'll pass. I like being handed what I want. I like what I want coming to me. I'm not the type to chase when I don't have to. <laughs> I told you, Wallflower. I'll pass on this game. I'll grace you with my attention once you're playing nice again. What the fuck was all that about? I think it is my business, Wallflower. You were stupid to do all of that in public, and more importantly, in front of me. Now, unless you don't want me to go find that poor fucker to ask him instead... Good. Look who's finally playing nice again. He what?! He asked you on a date? Why the fuck would he do that when it's been so obvious that you've been in love with me? Of course you're in love with me. You're just currently playing hard to get. I can see through you trying so hard to ignore me these past few weeks. You even go out of your way to avoid me. You can't even look at me without wanting to throw yourself all over me. <laughs> I need to get over myself. No. You need to get over yourself and drop this act. No. You aren't going on a date. If you even think about it, I'll make sure that you don't have a date to go with. Do you understand? Oh, good. You still know what a threat is. With how stupid you're being. I didn't know if maybe you started drinking the lake water near the school. Are you going to continue to play this game? 
Or are you going to go back to properly entertaining me? You just don't get it, do you? Not only do you need to learn how to take a compliment, you need to learn how to take advantage of an opportunity. How many people can say that the person that they're obsessively in love with is giving them any shred of attention? Not many. There are a lot of lonely, broken people in the world, and you're on the way to join them if you keep testing me. For fuck's sake! I don't want anyone else. They're not nearly as entertaining even in bed. I don't give a shit if people want to fuck. Everyone wants to fuck. Fucking is easy. But what you're doing isn't. Rooting feelings in someone like me. I didn't even know about your existence. You weren't in my world but I was in yours because you saw past all the sex and alcohol and saw my humor and intellect instead. Do you think I'm going to give that up? I can't feel the same way. Like I said, fucking is easy. It's easier than loving and harder than fucking, but easier than loving is teasing. That's where you and I are. Teasing a relationship that will never happen, that will always be one-sided with one of us stringing the other along for entertainment. No, you can't get over me. You're the only one who I need... You just... Ugh. You can't get over me. You aren't going to get over me. Anyone who gets in the way will be taken care of. So I suggest that you go back to being my own personal little wallflower instead of letting yourself be a cheap bouquet of flowers for the taking. Got that? Looks like we have class. You better not be able to tell me a single thing about the lesson today. Got that? I expect your focus to be on me, and only me. Now go. I can't ruin my reputation of being late to class, now can I? <laughs>